hi guys welcome to welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a chatty get ready for me because as you can tell right now i look disgusting i did straighten my hair but i am going out tonight so i thought we could get ready together all right without further ado let's get started so i did just i did just straighten my hair but i don't know if i straightened it good enough because obviously you can tell there's heaps of kinks I don't know, you guys can tell me, is that straight? Hopefully, I'm gonna look back at the footage. I literally, also another thing, we're on a massive time crunch. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 4.34 p.m. Okay, so it's 4.34 and I've gotta leave at 5.15. It's like, well, I guess I've got 45 minutes. I don't know, but I've gotta do the whole shebang and I've gotta probably reshade my hair because it's not straight. Okay, so the first thing I'm going in with is the NARS Sheer Glow like every other girl because everyone uses this. Also, I am using a mirror, but I'm not gonna put it here because like it's kind of gross. I might actually tie up my hair. Would th will this make my, I haven't even opened this, but anyway. Would this make my hair not straight? I don't know, hopefully not. Ooh. I'm just gonna do like one to two pumps of this one, like that much. Like, I'm not a beauty guru by any means, and I feel like that's what everyone says, but I literally am not. Like, I don't know how to do anything. I'm just gonna do like a simple little bronze eye look. Like, I'm just going to just put a bit in my crease. Like, I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to do cut crease or anything. But um, I like to blend my foundation in with my hands because I have acne prone skin. And my, obviously, I don't know if this is science, but my skin person told me this, like, Beauty blenders can hold like a lot of bacteria in them. Same with brushes, but like I couldn't get rid of my brush. So I still use a brush in my routine, but I just use my fingers for all my cream products, even my concealer as well. Speaking of concealer, that's what I'm gonna next use. I'm just, what is this? This is Bare Minerals in the color Medium 3C. I don't know what, it's liquid mineral concealer. I use this one because this is also good for acne prone skin. It's like a mineral. Whereas, I don't know, some science behind it. Once again, I don't know, but I'm sure if you look it up, there'd be some kind of evidence in between it. But in terms of today, let's talk about today. I just went to work. So I'm actually in my work outfits and I'm now just going in with my hula bronzer. I think it's just the color hula. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what color this is. Um, I don't know. I just literally think this is just normal bronzer. I'm just going to put this on my cheeks like everybody. I try to keep it higher than what I should keep it because then it wouldn't drag my face down. The only problem with this is I find it really hard to blend in and it kind of becomes quite muddy. I'm also rushing this, so this isn't going to be as good as what I could do it because I'm on a time crunch. But a little update on my life. I looked up today and I am going to Europe in 24 days literally crazy i'm a little bit stressed about it because last night i did a to-do list of everything i've got to do and it's quite long like i've got to get like insurance like a travel card i've got to upload money to that travel card i have a few more bookings like i've still got to book like a ferry to greece and right now all the ferries are booked out so i'm like i'm a bit nervous about that but that's okay um i'm just going in with my milk what is this milk bronzing stick i think it's in the color blaze and i just like literally redo it over what i already did just because i think this gives me more of a contour but it's also more of a bronze but i don't want to put it on my head because normally i do but like look at that like i need to blend that in a bit more before i decide to add more so i literally just blend this in with my fingers and then i'm going to put some more on my jaw as well so in terms of europe i'm also like a lot of people are already over there and it's only may and i'm leaving june and like it already like the airport looks super busy as well. So I'm just I'm just worried that my bag is going to go missing. But obviously just gotta think positive. And like I'm also just worried just because like not to sound dumb, like I never like acting dumb. I think that's silly of girls to do. Like I don't think people should do that. But I'm just like not the most street smart person. Like it's a floor of mine. Like I just don't pick up on little cues like that. So I'm just a bit worried that I won't pick up on something and possibly die. But that's obviously being very dramatic. Um, I'm just using the same brush. I don't even know what this is. It's just like a normal buffing brush. Just to buff in that the bronzer that I just put in my skin. And one really good thing that I know a lot of people are stressed about, but luckily I'm not, is that I do have enough money. Like I've been working like crazy. If you're new to my channel, I literally have four jobs. But I recently got another job. Because at the start of the year, I was quite stressed because I didn't have enough jobs. But now that I applied to all of them, they're all getting back to me. I don't know how to say no. So now I'm having all these onboardings and I'm a bit stressed because I literally have no time to do anything. Like I wanted, to, I want to vlog next week, but I'm like, I'm literally just going to vlog myself at work. 
and most of my workplaces don't like me vlogging. So I'm like, what am I gonna video? I don't know. Hence I'm doing a chatty get rid of me. But a lot of my friends want me to do this because I haven't had time to hang out with them. They'd love for me to do this so they can see what's happening. Is it like a little catch up? But then I'm like, then I don't know what's happening in your life. But anyway, they're like, it's fine. So anyway, back onto the makeup part because I really need to get this done. I'm just using this old Maddie Ziegler palette. I literally love this palette. Like, look at all of these colors. Like, you've got the light colors, the dark colors. It's perfect. I'm just going in with the color Latte, just as a bit of a brown. Um, also, don't mind how my eyes look because I actually can't see out of one of my eyes very, very well. So that's also why I haven't improved my makeup skills. I just, that's why I'm just zhuzhing it on but like i literally can't see i can like i'm being dramatic but like it's so blurry out of one eye so i literally only i think it's like what eye is it oh so this is my bad eye so i literally only ever see out of this eye so hence it doesn't look the best but that's okay but now you know give me an excuse you gotta cut me some slack if it, this doesn't look great so i'm just going in a sweeping motion and then to just warm up a bit i'm going to go with the lighter orange color it's called kenny it's this color if you want to replicate it i'm just putting this over the top and then i might actually add some sparkles to the look because i'm being wearing an all black outfit tonight so i've got to add a bit of color into my face so i don't look so it doesn't wash me out even though sparkles aren't colorful but like i don't know i feel like it'd be better to do that and then i'm just going to use a really thin brush i don't know if you can tell i think all my brushes are like this old set that I've had from Nude by Nature, but I'm sure you can just buy a brush similar to this. It's just like a round head, but it's really thin. And then I'm just going to go in with a black. I'm going to do this off camera because this takes a lot of my focus. Okay, so I'm back and I did my wing. It's literally so subtle. I used to literally like, this was a year ago, which is kind of embarrassing. I used to like do, oops, I just put black on my nose. Whoopsie. I spilled black all around my eyes. And I was like, I look like an English chav. I don't know if you know what that is, but like, it's like the English people that put on like heaps of like block matte makeup. But I've just decided just to do little wings just cause I think it opens my eye up. I think I've got almond shaped eyes and they're like notorious for being quite like in, not in, but like not like cat eye, which is what I want. I want cat eyes. Now that I've done the wing, I don't know why I didn't, I've got to put the sparkles on. I talked all about sparkles and I actually got to do it. So I'm just gonna go in with, with the color God Mom, if you guys actually have this palette, which I doubt you do, because I don't think it's continued anymore. Okay, now onto blush. I'm using the NARS Orgasm blush. I use about that much. It's a bit, it's actually probably too much, but will be looking extra rosy. I'm just gonna dab this on, just on the sides of my cheeks, kind of where you'd put highlighter, but I'm just gonna bring it in a bit to my nose to give me a more sun-kissed look. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually on a gap year right now. And I thought I'd give you a little update about what, how my gap year is going and everything. I have no one to talk to about it because a lot of my friends are doing uni this year, but I'm literally loving life. like. Graduating high school is the best thing that ever happened to me. And you might be like, why? Like a lot of people, like when I first graduated, I was kind of sad. Like I really did like year 12, but I hated every other year, but I don't know why. Year 12 was an exception. Graduating high school is amazing. Like I don't care about what anyone's doing. Like it's not my business, but sometimes in school, you kind of need to know what, what's happening because people use it as a topic of conversation. They're like, did you hear this? And I was like, most of the time I would, was always out of the loop because I don't really care. But I kind of felt like the pressure I had to be in the loop. But now it just does not matter. Like I get to live my life. Oh, whoa. This blush is exploding everywhere. And being on a gap year is so awesome. Like I can do whatever I want. Like even though I say yes to all these jobs, I don't have to. I don't have to do anything. It's like my life. I can do whatever I want. I can call in sick if I want the day off. Not that I always do, but I definitely have done that a few times. But it's just like so refreshing. Like I know, like I never really liked school and I always found it really hard. Oops. I think I always felt quite anxious. And now I get to do whatever I want. I'm literally going to Europe and I'm probably going to go to Thailand this year as well. And another thing that I really want to do is I'm going to buy a van, guys. Oops. I don't know the time frame for that van, but I'm going to do it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it means like I can work in another place in Australia. Like, I really loved Byron. If you guys haven't watched my Byron vlogs, definitely go watch them. They're some of my favorite videos I've made because I love that trip so much and work in a cafe cafe there. And especially because I've got like so many jobs, I've got heaps of experience. So hopefully be okay to be quite easy to pick up a job. 
But yeah, I want to get a van and convert it with my dad or I might buy one already converted just to try it out and not have to spend all my time actually converting it. I don't know. It's like more of a thing that I'm going to really put my all into once I get back from Europe because I'm going to have to work a lot to save a lot of money for a van because obviously vans are very expensive. I'm just going to put my mascara on and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, I've got my mascara on. I literally feel so much better once I have mascara on. Like, I can remember one makeup product for the rest of my life. It would be mascara. I don't know why. It just opens my eyes up and I just literally feel like myself, which is kind of bad. I wish I didn't have to rely so much on mascara. But you know what? The fact is, I do. I'm not going to lie about it. But um, I've got to tell you, the mascara I used was the Better Than Sex Too Faced one. Like, what every other person uses. I'm sure you could just tell by from the packaging. But I'm now going to do my eyebrows. This is literally, it's just the e.l.f. Instant Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm going to set it with this Kmart OXX Eyebrow Tint. So if you guys are Australian, literally, this would cost me, I think, $2. It's not very good. Like, I'm just going to fill these in i'm not very good at eyebrows so i literally just whack my pencil on there and hope for the best and then i just like to brush it upwards i think for my europe prep i'm gonna get my hair dyed i just get a few highlights and then i'm gonna get my i don't know whether to get my eyebrows just like get them threaded or to get them laminated as well like because i want to be like as low maintenance as possible in europe like everything's just done don't have to worry about it because hopefully i'll look good <laughs> but Obviously with the budget and because I'm trying to save for my van, I'm like, is it worth it though? Because like it's only going to last like the first half of my Europe trip because I'm going for two months. And I don't think those beauty treatments last more than two months. Okay, so I'm almost my makeup. I'm like, look at that. Like, so simple. Um, I'm now just using some highlighter. I'm using, why did I say that? American highlighter. I'm using highlighter. It's um, the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this stuff. My friend got me onto this. And I love it. And for my nose to make it more contoured, I just use my finger. And now onto lips, I use three lip products. So I use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium. And then I use the Charlotte, Pil Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Fussy or Fussy, I don't know, Gloss. Love these. Look how blunt this is. It literally hurts to put it it on but like when i sharpen it it never really works that well like okay so we've got a bit of action happening at the side that i can use but um i don't recommend letting your pencil get this blunt because it doesn't work properly okay so i lined my lips with my blunt pencil and then now i'm just going to go in with my pillow talk lipstick no technique i just slather it on voila and then there's the base of my lips and then I'm gonna go in with the gloss, but I'm gonna do that later because I'm not going yet. So I'm gonna let this sit, soak in my lips so it keeps the color. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 4.57 p.m. Okay, so I have to go in like 15 minutes. I'm just gonna use Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And now I'm just gonna dry that. I should have put my mascara on last because now it's gonna make my face drop. And then for outfits, I was thinking wearing this top with a long maxi skirt or I could wear my Realization yellow dress. Don't judge my cupboard, it's literally so bad. I'm thinking wearing this black skirt and then I just went with some black chunky shoes. Right, I'm gonna get changed. Okay, so this is the outfit. Obviously you can't see it because my camera will not be able to get me full length, but I'll show you in a mirror just before I go. And then for bags, I'm gonna bring my classic clubbing bag just because it's crossbody and it's just like super easy, but I'm just like freezing. I don't know what jumper to wear. And then I'm going to in my bag. This is what I always, if you guys need to know what to pack in your bag, I always bring Panadol and tampons, very important. And then I'm just gonna bring my lip products. So these three, and then I'll probably just put some gum in there because no one wants some stanky breath because the place I'm going to also serves dinner. So I'm gonna get dinner and I'm thinking about pasta no one wants like some meatballs smelling breath so i'm like so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna bring gum all right i'm gonna probably sum this up here because as i said i've literally got five minutes to go and i need to still drive this i'm literally running super late but i might add a little vlogging clip but this is the outfit i'll quickly show you the shoes okay so i just chucked on the shoes they're these ones and then i'm like literally a ninja but that's all right Okay, so that's my outfit. I'm gonna really train my hair because I bet you're watching back at this video. I haven't looked yet, but I know it's not gonna be fully straight. Like, look at that, you can tell now. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe to see more. Let me know if you wanna do me to do similar videos to this one or do more of my classic vlog and fashion. But I thought I'd change it up 
wish me luck for next week because I'm working every day. I'm going to be exhausted. But anyway, yeah, that's my update. Thanks, guys. Bye.